Hey all my family, welcome back to my channel. Tall buildings must be designed to uh, withstand earthquake and dynamic forces. A static analysis alone cannot capture uh, their complex behavior. This is why dynamic analysis or in the other uh, similar name modal analysis or uh, response spectrum analysis method is essential. Welcome again to this deep dive into a response spectrum analysis uh, method using CSI Tavis program for tall uh, building design. In this practical tutorial, uh, we are going to learn uh, what is the response spectrum analysis method mean, when we use the response spectrum analysis method, how to define mass source, how to define modal analysis parameters, how to define response spectrum function, how to define response spectrum uh, load case and load combination. What this video up to the end to master response spectrum analysis of uh, tall buildings. Now it's a time for uh, subscribe my channel to get daily update tutorials free. Thank you. Let's start. What is the response spectrum analysis method mean? A uh, response spectrum analysis method is nothing but it's a dynamic analysis method to evaluate how a structure uh, responds for a seismic force or a dynamic force. When we use a uh, response spectrum analysis method, uh, we are going to use the response spectrum analysis method due to uh, the following uh, cases. Uh, the first case is that when uh, the period T that is greater than uh, two seconds, this is the period uh, calculated from the uh, static analysis method. Uh, I will show this uh, in SAP's uh, program. And the second uh, factor is that when the important class is uh, important class three and four, uh, that is when the project is uh, like hospital, a school, or other uh, critical uh, infrastructures like it may be uh, the hall or uh, ATC. And when uh, there is a regular complex structure, both uh, in vertical and in the plan uh, manner, I will show uh, how to check uh, the period that is greater than a uh, second or not. So uh, from uh, this, let's go to uh, the tables here. So from uh, the tables, let's uh, check the analysis results. From the analysis results, uh, let's check the uh, structure output. From the uh, structure output, uh, let's go to uh, the uh, Table that is a modal period and frequency uh, from this modal period and uh, frequency right click on here so uh, show tables so uh, from this uh, you can check uh, the period uh, like this the, the period is a uh, 3.625 seconds that is uh, greater than uh, two seconds so uh, our analysis must be a dynamic analysis rather than a uh, static analysis so uh, to do this let's go to uh, use the response spectrum analysis method Let's go to define the first parameter for uh, the response spectrum analysis method, uh, that is uh, the mass source. So to do this, let's go to uh, the define menu. From the define menu, uh, mass source is here. So uh, from this, let's use the parameter that I have defined before. So uh, the mass source name, let's use the default as it is. Uh, from this, uh, the element uh, self mass. The element self mass is uh, calculated by the software itself, so uh, I'm going to uh, leave it. After that, uh, additional mass, there is no uh, necessary of defining additional mass here. So uh, the specified load pattern, uh, I'm going to uh, check this box to use the specified uh, load pattern uh, like this. Partition wall load, floor finish load, uh, dead load, and uh, the live load with a factor uh, that is assigned to a value. After that, uh, let's uh, include uh, the uh, lateral mass, that is uh, to include the lateral load. Vertical mass, uh, I'm not include the vertical mass here, but you can include a vertical mass by comparing uh, the uh, ground acceleration value. That is, if it's uh, greater than uh, 2 or uh, 30, you can use uh, the uh, vertical uh, mass or you can include the vertical mass, but in our case, the ground acceleration value is 0.1. So uh, there is no uh, include the vertical mass. After that, you have to check the lamp uh, lateral mass at story level uh, menu. So you can check at uh, this box. You can define uh, the mass source data uh, like this. After defining the mass source uh, parameters, let's go to the second important parameter that is uh, defining the modal analysis uh, parameter for response spectrum analysis method. So uh, to do this, let's go to uh, the define menu. From the define menu, uh, go to the load cases here. After that, uh, you can uh, modify the modal analysis parameters here. So uh, let's go to modify it. The load case name, uh, let's use uh, modal as it is. After that, lo the load case uh, type, you have to use uh, modal. 
After that, we have uh, two choices here. That is uh, the eigen and RIT uh, Z value. So uh, from this, let's use the RIT Z uh, values. So uh, from this, uh, let's define all these uh, parameters. So uh, I'll cancel it uh, and I'm sure how to define this uh, parameters. That is uh, how to uh, apply the load. So uh, let's add uh, these three loaders. So uh, the load type must be uh, changed to uh, acceleration. So uh, from this, uh, the load name, let's use a UX or uh, you can use a U1. So uh, from this, uh, the target participation uh, ratio, let's use a 90%. This is because the mass participation ratio must greater than a 90%. So uh, from this, let's go to define the uh, load apply that in a uh, y direction in similar way so uh, make it ua after that uh, let's use a 90 percent uh, participation ratio you can add uh, the load in uh, the direction if you consider uh, the vertical uh, effects of a uh, dynamic force so uh, you can find like this after that the basic and most important uh, parameter is that the maximum number of mod you can uh, calculate two times uh, the story, uh, the total story, that is uh, 14. After that, uh, you can uh, define uh, the total number of mode, uh, that is uh, 28. It's better to uh, use uh, 30. After that, uh, make it uh, OK. You can define uh, the mo all the modal parameters uh, like this. After defining all the uh, modal parameters, let's uh, proceed to uh, the third uh, important point or the third parameter for response spectrum uh, analysis uh, method, that is uh, the response spectrum uh, function. So uh, to define the response uh, spectrum function, uh, let's go to the define menu again. After that, uh, go to uh, functions here. After that, response spectrum uh, function. So uh, first, it's better to uh, delete this response spectrum analysis that we are going to define before. After that, you can choose any uh, building code of standards depending on your uh, local code. So in our case, it's better to use uh, error code standard. So uh, you can use uh, one of the two. After that, uh, add a new function. From this, uh, the response spectrum function name, uh, let's use uh, response uh, spectrum function. After that, uh, the uh, country, let's use the default code here. So uh, you can uh, consider both the uh, the uh, horizontal and uh, vertical direction if uh, the ground acceleration is more than two. So in our case, it's uh, 0 0.1. So uh, I have to use only the horizontal direction. A spectrum type, uh, let's use a spectrum type too. Uh, this is because the magnitude of uh, earthquake is uh, less, but for uh, the medium ductility class or for the uh, medium earthquake zone, uh, it's better to use a uh, spectrum type two, but in your case, you can use spectrum type one. The ground type is uh, from the geotechnical data. Uh, we have uh, five uh, ground types from this. Let's go to use uh, ground type B. So uh, from using this uh, ground uh, type, uh, the software itself calculate all these uh, points. That is uh, the TB, TC, TD, and HC uh, starting from uh, this uh, graph. So uh, you can define uh, the uh, response spectrum uh, function like this. Uh, make it uh, OK. After uh, defining the response spectrum function, uh, let's go to define the response uh, spectrum load case and load combination respectively. So after that, uh, we're going to uh, check the uh, mass participation value and other uh, parameters. So uh, let's go to uh, define the response uh, spectrum load case and load combination. So uh, go to the define menu. After that, uh, load case is here. So uh, from this, uh, let's go to add a new load case. Load case name, uh, let's make it a response spectrum analysis in X uh, direction, that is in positive and negative X direction. After that, uh, the load case type, make it a response spectra, a response uh, spectra. After that, uh, let's go to define the applied load. So uh, add here. So uh, the load type, it's acceleration. After that, uh, the load name, it's U1, that is in X uh, direction, that mean. After that, uh, the function, uh, so let's change it a uh, response spectrum function that uh, we're going to uh, define before. So uh, the basic and very important point uh, from here is that the scale factor. So you can calculate uh, the scale factor in X and Y direction in similar way. So the scale factor has a formula that is a ground acceleration value times the importance factor 
divided by uh, that of the behavioral factor. So uh, give attention here how to calculate it. So uh, the ground acceleration is a uh, 0 0.1 times the important factor. So our project is important factor three. So uh, has important factor value of 1.2. You can check your building curve standards here. After that, the behavioral factor that is a uh, 3.12. So you can calculate uh, the uh, scale factor uh, laxis. After that, the modal uh, load case type it's a uh, modal. Modal uh, combination method, uh, we can use uh, one of this. That is the first is that uh, CQC, that is the uh, complete quadratic equation method. And uh, the second, uh, that is SRSS. Uh, that means the square roots of uh, sum of uh, square, we can use uh, one of the two. Directional combination type, uh, you can use uh, one of these. So uh, let's uh, go to uh, the uh, modal damping ratio. So uh, for a damping ratio, you can use 0 0.05 and they are from uh, Central City. So uh, you can edit uh, this value as 0 0.05. So uh, after that, make it okay. So uh, let's go to define uh, the response spectrum uh, analysis load case in uh, Y direction in similar way. So uh, let's add a copy of. So uh, from this, uh, let's change only uh, the response spectrum uh, analysis in y direction as uh, a name after that uh, we can change only this uh, value that is u uh, u2 after that uh, make it okay after defining the load case for response spectrum analysis uh, let's go to define the load combination for this uh, dynamic analysis method so uh, to do this let's go to uh, the define menu here after that uh, load combination this is uh, all about the load combination for uh, static analysis I will attach uh, the links of uh, this uh, video, how I am going to uh, define all this 42 load combination for a uh, static analysis in the description box and first comments of uh, this video. So uh, let's go to uh, add a new combination for uh, dynamic analysis. So add new combo. So this is a combo uh, for a dynamic, for dynamic uh, analysis, make it a combo one. Combo one for a dynamic analysis. So uh, the combination type it's linear. After that, uh, let's go to add uh, the total date load. Total uh, date load is here with a scale factor one. After that, uh, let's add a live load. A live load with a scale factor at zero point six. Zero point six. Uh, that is the psi two uh, value. So uh, after adding the live load, uh, let's go to add response spectrum analysis in X and Y direction by uh, considering 100% NX direction and uh, considering 30% in Y direction and vice versa. So uh, let's go to uh, add new combo that is uh, response uh, spectrum analysis in X direction with 100%. Uh, after that, uh, let's go to add a response spectrum analysis in y direction that is uh, 30 percent uh, you can check the building code uh, standard after that uh, let's go to uh, the next uh, load combination that is by rearranging the direction to a positive and negative direction so this is uh, the first uh, load combination for dynamic or response spectrum analysis that is combo a uh, dynamic one from this let's go to uh, define a load combination two for a uh, dynamic analysis so uh, add a copy of after that, uh, make it a dynamic analysis a combination too. So uh, from this, I am uh, going to only change uh, the direction. So uh, make it a negative. That is response spectrum in X direction is negative. After that, uh, let's go to the second combination. That is the response spectrum uh, in Y direction only negative. So you can use this method. Add a copy of so a response spectrum uh, analysis or dynamic analysis combination. Sorry. So uh, I'm going to make this a uh, positive and change uh, the direction of this only. So uh, due to this, I'm uh, going to get the third combination here. After that, uh, let's go to define the fourth uh, combination. So uh, that is combination uh, four. So by changing uh, all the direction to uh, negative, make it uh, okay. After that, I uh, have uh, the other four combinations. To do the other uh, four combination, let's start uh, using this uh, load combination. So add a copy of a uh, load combo. So uh, make it a uh, combination five for a uh, dynamic or uh, response spectrum analysis. So uh, from this, the only difference is that uh, I'm going to change uh, 
response spectrum analysis in x direction that is at 0.3 or 30 percent and response spectrum in y direction that's 100 percent that is the positive uh, positive so uh, make it okay after that uh, let's go to change uh, the direction only so uh, you think that uh, i'm going to uh, get the uh, combination six so uh, let's make it a uh, negative make it okay uh, after that add a new combo that is combination seven so uh, let's check this direction as negative and uh, this as uh, positive after that uh, make it okay sorry uh, the combination name is not changed that is combination uh, seven make it okay from combination seven uh, let's define combination eight for uh, response spectrum analysis by changing only uh, the direction as uh, negative you can define a dollar a combination for dynamic analysis axis. make it okay after defining all these parameters that is uh, the mass source uh, parameter the modal analysis uh, parameter a response spectrum uh, function the response uh, spectrum load case and load combination let's go to analysis this model and after that let's go to check the modal mass participation that must be uh, greater than 90 percent let's go to uh, analyze the model before that uh, let's go to check uh, the set load case uh, to be run so uh, to check this go to the analysis menu so at uh, set load case uh, to run so uh, all the uh, load case must be uh, the action must be uh, under run after that uh, make it okay so uh, let's run uh, the analysis The analysis result is uh, completed uh, like this. After the analysis, uh, let's go to check the modal uh, participation value at uh, the last mode uh, value, that is uh, mode uh, 30. That must be uh, greater than uh, 90%. So uh, let's go to check it. Go to the table. From the table, uh, let's go to uh, the analysis results here. After the analysis uh, results, uh, let's check the structural output. After the structural uh, output, uh, let's check the modal information. From the modal uh, information, uh, the modal participation uh, mass ratio is uh, here. Right click, show table. So uh, from uh, the last mode, that is uh, mode uh, 30, the uh, participation uh, value both in uh, X and Y uh, direction is uh, nine, uh, 0 0.99 uh, something that is uh, greater than uh, 90% so uh it's okay this is all about today's tutorial next we will see uh, key parameters that uh, structural engineers must check uh, during response spectrum analysis method under uh, euro code standards like uh, the mass participation value as i uh, shown uh, in the screen before and the capacity ratio drift torsional effect see you there uh, thank you for watching goodbye